Enggak Hey guys, this is Kilo21, and I am here with you again um, for the second time this week, and this video is going to be about jewel creeping. Um, jewels, energy, FPS, difference between jewels and FPS, and then we're going to talk a little bit about polar stars, gas guns, AGs, and how they jewel creep, the benefits, the, the pros, the cons, and why polar stars are so hated in the community. Now this is not going to be a I hate polar stars kind of video, or rah, 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 I hate Eric's polar star rah, 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 kind of thing, but no, this instead, this is going to be more is going to be taking a stance on the scientific side and try to make people aware of jewel creeping and what jewel creeping does and basically how you can prevent it how you can take advantage of it etc 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 so this is going to be a relatively neutral video um, if not completely neutral um, and this is just supposed to be informative so don't take this too seriously don't get too butthurt over it so what is joules and what is FPS well might as well start at that point since that is what this entire thing is all about so FPS is a measurement of velocity it's feet per second it's how far a BB will travel in one second and um, this is the most common way to measure uh, how this is the most common way to benchmark airsoft guns uh, if they shoot 400 feet per second or such but as of recent um, guns have been uh, start uh, organizations such as Milsom West such as uh, I believe uh, Team Black Sheep I mean or Black Sheep Mil Black Sheep Milsom or something like that um, and American Milsom and such have all started Chronoing based on jewel creep, uh, based on uh, jewels, not jewel creep, not yet. <laughs> and the reason why is because jewel is a measurement of energy which stays constant in comparison to FPS. FPS is uh, changes throughout its fl throughout the BV's flight based on external and internal factors such as um, the Magnus effect, the uh, um, the amount of the amount of hop that's being applied, the um, I just I literally just said that um etc etc um air resistance, but joules stay relatively constant if not constant because it's the transference of energy. In fact, the only time joules ever uh, joules ever uh, transfers is from contact. So at the end of the BB's flight, so it'll still have energy behind it. Um, so that's that's the difference. And uh, so let's get started on what jewel creeping is, because that's the natural step. So what I have is a GMP 363 millimeter that I want you to pretend is a 509 millimeter, because I could not find any type two cylinders to save my life in my storage bin so we're gonna we're just gonna pretend a little bit um, uh, then I have this I have the bio, white bio valve 0.3 gram BB and then the 0.2 gram golden ball and so brands don't really matter in this situation whites 0.3 blacks 0.2 and we have our barrel okay so so what a barrel does is it sends the BB in a certain direction using a using a theory and not theory but a rule known as volume matching um, and you'll see this a lot in AEGs I mean you'll see this iconically in AEGs because it runs on a piston system whenever the piston pushes air passes through the cylinder into the, into the gun it needs a certain volume that the cylinder needs to provide so um, let's assume that this, this cylinder can match the amount of volume 
um, for 0.2 gram BB uh, for this barrel. So we'll just we'll take that in this, as an assumption to make this work. Now um, this is a this is the red one is a bore up cylinder by the way. So um, and they will provide more air air volume, but we'll get into that later. So. When you're when you're using this SHS uh, type uh, type zero in order to uh, project a BB, the 0.2 gram will fly out and will leave the barrel with probably some extra air and um, and and let's say it leaves at 400 FPS, which translates out to 1.48 joules. So. The difference between how a 0.2 will fly versus a 0.3 will fly is that a 0.2 will stop accelerating ideally at the very end of the barrel. Uh, let's assume that it does. It doesn't according to this math, but just to make it easy, let's assume that it's the 0.2 gram stops accelerating at the very end of the barrel. Um, the 0.3 gram, since it has more mass, it will it will be slower to accelerate and it'll accelerate for a shorter amount of time and use more air volume and it'll stop accelerating let's say three-fourths of the way there using this type uh, type zero cylinder um, again this is all assumptions so don't don't go blasting me for it but so this BB will project at 400 FPS at 1.5 joules and then this BB will also project at 1.5 joules, but at 330 FPS, rather, or yeah, 320, 330 FPS rather than 400, because it accelerates slower, affecting velocity. But the amount of energy is the same, since we are assuming that this cylinder can provide the same air volume, uh, the exactly the same air volume as this barrel. Now, we decide to go bore up kit and we decide to volume up per se. So, I'm just going to leave the cessation. Okay, so we decide to go with the bore up kit, I mean, in our not bore up kit, but our bore up cylinder, which can provide more air volume, let's say all the way out to 600 millimeters or so. Um, it actually doesn't, but let's just assume in this situation. That means the point two will continue accelerating. Well, should continue accelerating ideally if the barrel is longer. Instead, it whooshes out, um, it shoots out with a big whoosh of air um, around it since air is escaping and um, and etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So this BB will still leave the barrel at 1.5 joules. However, this, however, the point three will utilize the extra air and project out the barrel at the very end. Again, ideally, this is where jewel creeping comes in because you have this difference. I'm going to mark it. You have this huge difference in air current. I mean, uh, in air volume. This The difference in air volume applies pressure onto the BB, which results in more energy transferred to the BB before it leaves the barrel. And by the way, when it leaves the barrel, it can't really receive any more energy because all the air is rushing out and there's not enough pressure. So, um, and that's basically joule creeping. This BB might be shooting at 1.7 joules, or to explain, to go into a situation I had with a Polar Star user who's a super nice guy. Um, he's a great player, doesn't he? But he just wasn't aware of joule creeping. So what he did was he chronoed with the point two, and he chronoed 400 FPS, and, and he chrono. Then he went and played and started actually hurting people. Not to his fault, but because he just didn't know about what jewel creeping was. We went back and we jewel tested him on the point three, and we got 2.4 joules. That's the equivalent of four. Uh, that's the equivalent of around 470 FPS. So basically, he was shooting a BB at 470 FPS. So, or he was he was shooting the equivalent of a point two at 470 FPS. That's a lot of energy. And that's why polar stars are really notorious for jewel creeping, um, 
mainly because they have their HPA system and not only we're not uh, let's let's step back here um Polar Stars and Gas Guns and some AGs are known to dual creep because they have the ability to fill up the entire barrel's uh, air volume needs, uh, per se. Um, you can see this real easily with how Polar Star users can just turn up the PSI or adjust their FS FCU in order to gain in order to maximize the amount of air current that is in the barrel. So, um, that's why some places have decided to start uh, jewel, uh, jewel, uh, measure chronoing jewels as well as FPS. So, or just jewels. Um, so, again, not giving Polar Stars a bad name, but it's just uh, Polar Stars are the ones that actually brought the jewel chronoing age about. So, and gas guns, uh, you can see it in gas guns where green, ga uh, like in my LM4, actually measured dual creeping because I threw in a, sh I threw in a shorter barrel, I mean, I threw in a longer, longer barrel, like a, I modded a, like, a f what was it, a, like a f 370 or something like that in the gun, and it shot my .3 out at a higher dual than a .2. So, um, and you can see this in AEGs and, and mostly in DSGs, but in a more positive way. DSGs tend to shoot around 300 or so FPS because you're half cycling, you're basically half cycling a piston, meaning you're having, uh, you, you can estimate half the FPS, half, half to like a quarter or what, or, uh, most, mostly half, but anyways. Um, so they're providing really half of the air volume they need, so they either shorten their barrel or they dual creep. And usually, and what they'll do is they'll over volume some in some way in order to get their point threes to be shooting this far. They can justify it because they can sh they shoot at a lower duels anyways because they have half the energy applied initially. So they are just getting their BB, they're just making it so their BBs don't just roll into people's gear and actually it makes a little thud, a little thud. But I've actually not seen any crazy uh, jewel builds so uh, for DSGs or AEGs, but just builds that focus on jewel creeping to make, to allow people to feel it because it's, it's just, some people just don't feel it, so... It's definitely needed. So I hope this video really clarified what jewels were, what FPS are, what um, and what jewel creeping really is. Um, I'm not the best at the scientific stuff, so if I did get something wrong, feel free to leave it in the comments. Feel free to message me. I would prefer if you messaged me, um, just so we can talk about it. I can ask you more questions about it, and we can always... Uh, discuss it, but um, if you have any comments or concerns, feel free to leave it in the comment section. Uh, feel free to subscribe. Blah blah. This is Kilo Two One signing out. I hope you guys learned something today. Thanks, guys.